Like a scene from a movie, a thief drops into a store from the roof and hits the jewelry counter, stuffing loot into a backpack. This attempted jewelry heist at the Walmart in Woodland. Thank you for joining us on this Thursday evening. I'm Laurel Porter. This all happened on Christmas Day. Police say the suspect got into the store by rappelling in from above. Tim Gordon has details. Well, as you can see, this is a big Walmart here in Woodland, and it has a lot of skylights on the roof. This would-be thief chose one of them and then rappelled right into the store. This is security video from early in the morning on Christmas Day. The Walmart store was closed, but this suspect, police believe is a man, dropped in anyway. He literally dropped in. These pictures are evidence in the unsolved burglary case. You see the skylight on the roof above, breached. He ended up breaking the seal on one of the skylights um, and also the security mesh, and then they rappelled down into the building. The suspect clipped a carabiner to an HVAC unit up top and dropped the other end of the rope right into the store. The rope left hanging down just far enough. Once inside, the suspect made a beeline for the jewelry case and loaded up a backpack full of items worth about $5,100. These things are going to hold us, right? They should. This is a little like something out of the movies, like Ocean's Eleven, huh. but in Woodland, Washington. It's one of those things that you never expect on a day-to-day -day basis. In Woodland's quiet downtown, we told people the story. Wow, yeah, shocking. Including I, Trish Bernard, owner of Top Shelf Resale, who says crime isn't usually a problem in this town. And to go the extent of repelling through a skylight for Walmart jewelry, I mean, I, I don't think it's okay for any jewelry, but wow, it's extreme. <laughs> It is extreme and unusual, according to Woodland Police Sergeant James Keller. That is that is probably one of the first ones that, that I've seen in 16 years here, where they've gone to the, that extent um, and actually, you know, repelling into a, into a facility. How far down? It's probably a good 35, 40 feet. The only problem for the would-be burglar, an alarm system did finally go off, and that sent him running, dropping his backpack full of stolen jewelry in the aisle before exiting the store. They left it behind, apparently they got spooked after all that. The alarm got police officers to the Walmart too, but the suspect was gone. Yep, he got away and as you can see, it's kind of hard to tell his features in that video, but this is the kind of crime that people might talk about. So if you've heard anything or know anything, call Woodland Police. In Woodland, Tim Gordon, KGW News.